Welcome back to my YouTube channel, everybody. In this video, we are getting extra cozy, so pop the kettle and join me. As we make the greenhouse extra cozy, I am planting on some seedlings, and I'm also going to be sowing some seeds as well. So I hope you'll enjoy this cozy afternoon in the greenhouse with me. So the greenhouse is officially lit. I got the electricity installed. I never thought I would get so excited over a plug. <laughs> so I am gonna make the most of my new electricity and I picked myself up this mini stove. So it's a faux one. Um, it like runs off electricity and it is a heater. It does actually work as a heater, but it's not intended to heat the greenhouse. It's just kind of decorative. I like the light that it gives off. It'll heat me as well. So when I'm working in the greenhouse and the evenings start to get colder, I can use it to heat. But just be careful, don't leave these unattended. Don't leave them on. This isn't intended to be a source of heat for the greenhouse. If you are gonna heat up your greenhouse professionally, look at getting like proper heat lamps and things like that. So for me, this is more decorative and to heat me than heating my seedlings. I also picked up this pot which I'm gonna pop some logs into just as like a little decorative thing but you can hide your compost bags or your vermiculite or whatever you need for your growing at the bottom of it and put logs on top. I got this in the range and it was on sale and you'll see a little pair of welly boots as well that I got and I've just given them a lick of paint just to tie them into the kind of colour scheme of my greenhouse and while the paint is drying I am going to start planting on some plants. Okay, I have some plant wins and I have some plant fails that I'm about to share with you. Also, anytime I'm in the greenhouse and there's a bit of humidity, all the hair just goes poof, like Monica from Friends. So some of you will remember back in May, I was working with Miracle Grow using their peat-free compost. And in, I'll pop a card to that video. But in that video, I planted some house plants because they're harder to kind of grow from seed and I wanted to see if I could grow a house plant from seed. I had some success. These two little chaps here who are screaming for a new pot, which we're gonna pot on. But sadly, I did have some that didn't make it. So on this one, I had a living stone and there does look like there is a teeny tiny living stone inside of this one, which I'm gonna leave it do its thing. I think maybe if I put it in the greenhouse, but the other guys, no sign life. So um, another thing I learned was, you know your lollipop sticks that you put in? Well, the marker bleeds. <laughs> so I don't know what they're called. Painted, painted palm, maybe? It broke as well. Um, so the palm ones, didn't grow and it's been like sometimes I thought there might be no like look there's the seed in that one so three plants from my little experiment which I don't think is too bad so I'm gonna reuse I'll reuse the compost in there one thing I'm gonna do is I got some bougie houseplant pots so I am not a houseplant person just because a lot of houseplants are just kind of toxic to like cats. I need to check if these ones are toxic but they can stay in the greenhouse that's the great thing about the greenhouse is I can grow things like I have a lovely bunch of lilies in here um, because I can't have lilies in the house with Blondie so I can have things in here that I can't have in the house. I noticed that houseplants none have drainage holes and when I was in B&Q I noticed that a lot of them were like in pots inside of the pot. I assume this is to stop it dripping off and damaging things when it's in the house. Please share the knowledge with me. So I'm going to 
transplant them on into a bigger pot and then just plop them in here. I assume maybe it collects water at the bottom. I know they don't like sitting in water, but share with me your indoor house plants tips because you know me girls i'm an outdoor plant person because holy god assists me and um, indoor plants and also i notice in the greenhouse i have to make sure that i remember to water the plants um because i'm like oh it's raining but i'm like girl this is a glass house so i am going to pot these on and i'm going to see what peat free compost i have left over what i will say is in ireland i know in the uk i was watching gardeners world and they were chatting about peat free and it seems to be so much more accessible in the uk but i have noticed in ireland um i've had to get like peat free compost from like independent places so the kind of commercial places has been harder to get pea free so just for any of my irish audience i did have to order online to get some pea free compost but that is what i'm going to be using and i'm also giving them i'm going to give them a little feed so i have some of the miracle grow pumping feed so i'm going to stop neglecting these i'm going to pop them in bigger pots feed them and they should be happy types of ranuncula now one of them um two of them you can sell any time of the year but one of them is that one that we can go this one is like damp and soggy it basically wants abuse <laughs> this certain variety and um, i bought these online back in like summer time actually no it was like late spring because there was wild when i was doing the wildlife corner the patch over there because i'm gonna actually pull you a little bit closer in case there's an echo my mic can pick it up when i noticed a plant in the woods when it, where i walk and i had it on instagram and someone said that's a ranuncula and they can grow wild so i was like i'm gonna get them and i'm gonna start them from seed and put them in my little woodland corner so Oh, there's loads of seeds. While I am planting or sowing, um, I thought I'd answer like a couple of greenhouse questions that I've seen pop up um, on the past kind of like a couple of videos. I'm going to do half of my seed tray, one variety, and the other half of the seed tray, the other variety. Okay, greenhouse questions. Is the base of the greenhouse sealed in inside now? It is. I had to use so much sealer uh, one bottle was being optimistic. I think I used about six. And it is now waterproof inside and out and some extra protection and drainage for this side over here because that's where um, I was getting some rain coming down from the greenhouse. But not a big problem, all sorted. Let me just tap these in. Um, I was getting some feedback on moisture which is really good thank you for that but what i will say is it's a greenhouse which makes it prone to like humidity and stuff it's not a wet house i think people thought it would be super wet which some greenhouses obviously are especially like poly polytunnels and stuff um but this is more like humid and like it's comfortable to like work in and stuff one thing i will say is I haven't purchased lights yet because I'm thinking it probably would be smarter to use bathroom lights because they're obviously made to not malfunction with moisture um, and I still have loads of seed left. I'm going to move on to the other side and carefully 
put these back in. Ooh. Another thing, my heater is not a solution if you want to heat your greenhouse for like professional growing. So if you want to heat your greenhouse, you would have to invest in like proper grow lamps and things like that. My heater is like ornamental and will also give me <laughs> a source of heat in winter because one thing I love to do, there's no Wi-Fi in the greenhouse, which is great. So when I work here, I'll do things that I can do offline. So like video editing, photo editing, writing. So it's such a lovely space and I can just pop on my little heater and I will have to keep a close eye on it. And obviously not, don't leave them unattended because there is a little bit of moisture in my room, in my greenhouse compared to like what will be in the house. Let's move on to the next side. Another question, the terracotta plates that are on the shelving are um, made from recycled plastic, so they're not clay. So I think there was a couple of people commenting saying that they'll mark the wood, which is great, thank you for that feedback. Um, but they're actually plastic. So they're that brand, I think it's called Ello. You'll see them in most of the garden centers. And oh, these seeds are like fluffy. And um, they're made from recycled plastic. So, and also my seed trays, I've made sure to get ones that have a bottom so you can lift. So you've got your seed tray that sits in. And then this one came with a little propagation station. And also I am using plastic, but as Monty Don says, if you look after your plastic, look at these seeds. They're fluffy. Oh, I'll just let them fall in. Yeah, so if you look after your plastic, like you'll see in my drawer over there that I keep all of the plastic containers that come with when I buy a pot in the shop. I think it's best to just pull them and pop them in. So yeah, I use, I try to, if I buy plastic, look after it. Um, because I have been buying the biodegradable ones, but the problem is you're, they're great. You can pop them straight into the ground, but I'm spending a fortune on them. <laughs> so I'm trying to recycle, like I leave and keep the plastic trays when you buy like a tray of strawberries and stuff. And then I can use them next year for like when I'm planting, when I'm sowing my seeds, sorry. And then the last greenhouse question is, where did I buy it? Um, so it's a company in Ireland called Outdoor Living dot ie and mine is the eight by eight foot and i have a 10 by 10 base so my base is slightly bigger and yeah i purchased it from them oh here's blendy hey girl <laughs> do you want to jump up i actually think it's starting to rain as well which sounds lovely i don't even know which is a seed with these fluffy fluffy ranunculus seeds i know be be so yeah, a company called outdoorliving.ie and me and Karen went out to look at it in person back in May and then I ordered it and the hold up was getting a contractor to do the base because it's such a big like structure you couldn't sit it on like blocks. <laughs> okay, I have planted my seeds. So I'm going to pop on my propagation lid. Well, I'm going to give them a little drink but I'll pop on my little propagation hat and I'm going to think I'll put them up the top because they will get uninterrupted light. But yeah, if there's any other greenhouse questions or like tips, um, absolutely let me know. So uh, you've probably gathered that it's more of a, while it is for growing, it's not for hardcore growing and it is a dual space as well. So it's like workspace and growing space and just pottering and somewhere I can escape with no internet and just be in my little oasis. <laughs>you enjoyed this slower pace of video this week and our cozy afternoon in the greenhouse i'm just popping the trinkets in giving them a little styling but this is how it's looking now i can't wait well i can because i'm not a winter person but i can't wait for the darker afternoons when i can pop on the heater 
pop my feet in front of it and get cozy while I'm working from the greenhouse. If you want to check out any of the other greenhouse videos, I will pop a card here and pop them in the description as well. If you are new to my channel, please do subscribe and welcome to the community and cheeky thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and I'll see you all in the next one.